Okay, this one is about the evaporator's job. The evaporator is pretty much the reason we air condition or refrigerate in the first place because uh, that's what removes heat from the structure or substance we're trying to remove heat from. So let's start out here. The expansion device is not on this uh, picture. Uh, as the liquid refrigerate, refrigerant from the liquid line comes out of the expansion device, it's going to be at its subcooled temperature. Now let's pick out a subcooled temperature and say it's uh, 95. Okay. The temperature of the, of the liquid as it comes in here and its pressure is lowered. Remember now the evaporator uh, has low pressure evaporating liquid. So we started out with a high pressure on the other side of the expansion device. As soon as we come out of the expansion device the pressure drops. If the pressure drops the boiling temperature of the refrigerant drops. Okay, if I've got 95 degree refrigerant coming out of here, then the first thing, the first heat that's going to be absorbed by this uh, system is going to be the heat that's in the liquid refrigerant. That 95 degrees. Let's say this evaporator is at 40 degrees. So the sensible heat that is in the refrigerant is going to have to be absorbed first. Once that heat has been absorbed and the temperature brought down to 40 degrees, uh, the condenser temperature, then you'll begin to remove heat from the structure. This oftentimes runs about 25% of the entire load. So it's important. Uh, that's why I told you earlier uh, on the condenser video that subcool is important because it increases efficiency. The lower the subcool, the less flash gas. That's what this is called is flash gas. So the less flash gas we have, the more efficient the system is because more of the refrigerant is going to pull heat out of the structure. Okay, once we reach past this flash gas, we are absorbing heat, latent heat, from uh, the structure into the liquid, turning the liquid into a gas because this is a saturated mix, and it passes through the entire evaporator, most of the evaporator, boiling refrigerant out. Towards the end of the evaporator, and you show the color difference here, we have run out of liquid. There's no more liquid left, left, and we have gas going up to the compressor. The reason we have this gas, and this is called uh, cool superheated gas. It's superheated because it's no longer a saturated mix, but it's not highly superheated. It's a gas so that when we go into the compressor, we do not throw liquid into the compressor. And we'll talk about liquid in compressors in another video, but liquid in compressor, bad. Makes for broken parts and all sorts of crazy things. So we try to get it so that the, uh, the system does not have any liquid left in the last pass or two of the evaporator and the suction line so you get a pure gas back to the compressor. And that is the evaporator's job.